What's up guys, it's Ben from Living Survival. And today we're gonna to take a look at a few different compasses from Brunton, so stick with me. All right guys, so how many of you have been lost in the woods or found yourself at least turned around once or twice? It's one thing if you hike on, you know, well-traveled paths and things like that. You go down the path, you come back the opposite way, no big deal. But when you're like me, I'm always trying to find new places in the woods. I'm always going into uh, new woods and especially this time of year when everything is just so overgrown, it's very easy to get turned around. One time when I was hunting in Northern Michigan with about five different guys, we all split up and went our separate ways. I walked a few miles into the woods. There were old logging trails and two tracks and things like that. Well, it got a little bit dark out on my way back. I headed down the two track that I thought I had come in, come to find out after a couple miles, the car was nowhere to be seen. Instantly I panicked. I was in a new location, no compass. This was way before I did anything, you know, survival related. And I can remember to this day how scary it was to not know where I was when I thought I was exactly where I was supposed to be. Eventually, from yelling and calling out people's names, I eventually heard one of the other guys and made it back to the car safely. Times like that are when it's very important to have a compass just for general navigation, general direction. And there's lots of things you can do with a compass other than just tell north from south and east from west. For example, good compasses come with a big blaze plate where you can place it on a map and you can find direction that way and find waypoints and things like that by plotting on a map. You do a lot of hiking in the winter time on steep country where there might be uh, avalanche risk. Some compasses also come with an elevation guide to let you know the general elevation or the general uh, angle of the slope you're climbing. Now I've used compasses from several other brands, but Brunton was nice enough to send me out a few of their models to show you guys on my channel. They sent out a few models from their TrueArc line, the Brunton TrueArc 5 and the Brunton TrueArc 15. So we're going to take a closer look. So this is the TrueArc 5. It's a great compass. It's nice and clear and easy to read with its colors and large numbers. It does have a big base plate for plotting routes and things like that on a map. It has a little scale here in inches, also in millimeters there. It has a little magnified section there for reading uh, smaller things on a map, which does actually come in quite handy. Now both compasses in the TrueArc line have the global needle, so it's a nice and easy to read needle. Now this compass also has declination, so if you're not familiar with that, basically what that is, is it's an offset for different parts of the world, and you can set that accordingly, and then it will make your coordinates read more true. Now the TrueArc 5 has what they call tool-free declination setting. So basically it allows you to set the declination without the use of a tool. Now that is a cool feature. However, it is kind of hard to get the hang of setting the declination because you have to spin this inner dial here. Now fortunately, you really only have to set it once for the location that you're in. And then it also comes with a nice long lanyard, which again, it's very easy to read and very nice looking and very lightweight and rugged. So I do like the TrueArc 5 for a simple compass that you can take with you no matter where you're going. It's always a good idea to have at least one compass on you at all times when you're in the woods or in a new area. Now they also sent out their TrueArc 15, which is similar to the 5. It has the nice large base plate here, has the magnifying uh, map spot, has the different markings on the base plate as well. Uh, the differences with this one are obviously it has a mirror. I really like that because it's multi-purpose. Not only can you use it for signaling, but you can use it to look at yourself in the mirror. Maybe, you know, you have something in your eye. A mirror comes in really handy. And of course, for our survival kits, we all want to carry, uh, you know, some way of signaling others and a signal mirror works great. So I find that these, uh, these mirrors inside the Brunton compasses work excellent for that. It also has a bubble level here to make sure that you're level, has the same global needle, and then this one also has rare earth magnets in it, which help eliminate interference. I'm going to be doing some tutorials on how to use a compass and how to, you know, plot coordinates on a map and things like that. And one of the things that you'll find is that you want to hold it uh, away from your body, uh, down, you know, at about waist high. 
uh, and make sure that you're not getting any interference from electronics or any metal objects like your belt buckle and things like that. And the rare earth magnets in the TrueArc 15 help avoid that. So this one is also magnified on the compass dial. So again, very nice looking and very easy to read and quite rugged, especially when you close the case. You know, I've been carrying this in my pack and in my pocket for a while now, and I think it is really durable and will hold up. So this one has the same goofy declination setting, although it is tool free. You kind of have to hold the, uh, the main ring with your fingers here and then spin the inside to set the declination. Not that easy to do, but fortunately you really only have to do it once, but that would be nice if it was a little easier. But again, it's tool free so that you can do it on the go. The TrueArc 15 also has the inclinometer here for uh, judging elevation and angle of elevation. Again, good for if you're in an avalanche risk zone. It snaps nicely shut and then of course comes with a lanyard as well. So guys, even in its most basic form, just being able to tell north, south, east, and west is very handy when you're heading out on a new trail, for example. When you're at the trailhead, get your bearings, get your direction, and then you know you always have to head back that direction to get back where you came from. Now again, I'm going to do some tutorials on you know, basic and more advanced use of a compass, so stay tuned for those videos. So I really like the TrueArc series from Brunton, whether you just need a basic compass for your survival kit or a pack or a little more advanced compass. I really like the TrueArc 15 because it is so multi-purpose. Of course, it does serve as a compass, but you also have that mirror for signaling or seeing if you have something uh, on your face or in your eyes, which believe it or not, I do get things in my eyes and the mirror comes in very handy and it's nice to have it right on the compass without having to dig through your pack uh, if you even have a uh, mirror with you. So you never know when you're gonna get turned around in the woods, especially with all the overgrowth. It's very easy to get turned around and go miles out of your way and having a compass to just pull a basic, uh, you know, basic direction comes in very handy and it's very essential for having in your survival kits or your packs when you go out hiking, camping, or backpacking. So guys, I hope you liked this video today and checking out the TrueArc line from Brunton. Of course, I'm going to put some links up here to where you can find out more as well as pricing on the TrueArc 5 and the one that I carry, the TrueArc 15. Make sure you guys give this video a huge thumbs up for me. Make sure you leave me some comments below. I will reply to your comments if you leave one. Make sure you share this video on all your social media, Google+, Facebook, and Twitter. And as always, guys, I really appreciate it when you subscribe for more videos.